Hello and welcome to our GIMP tutorial on reflections with Second Life Photos. So we're going to open our base picture here. Get that open. You'll see a, a girl standing in front of a mirror. We're going to make a reflection of her in this mirror. And to do this we took one picture like this and then we rotated around and took one from the mirror's point of view. And now I'm going to um, open that as layers here. Get the mirrored image. Okay, it doesn't matter that it's a little bit bigger than what's going to fit in that mirror because we're going to resize it. But what we need to do first, since it's a mirror image, is we need to flip this. So we go over to our toolbox, click the flip tool, click back on the picture, and it flips it. Now we need to um, go to elliptical select. We're going to cut out a portion that's going to look like it's going to fit into the mirror here, this a nice round elliptical oval shape. Uh, not worried about size right now. Let's just get um, get a portion that looks like it's going to be the reflection in here. That looks good. Um, so we need to select, invert, edit, and clear. And that takes away the background portion. Okay, what what you might like to do here, what I like to do is I like to um, feather the edges some. So what I'm going to do now, since I have it already selected here, is I'm going to go to Select, Feather, about 15 pixels, click OK, and then Edit and Clear again. And there'll be a nice little kind of light feathered edge around. Um, you can do a little bit more if you wish. Um, now I'm going to go to Select None, and we're going to set the opacity on this level on this layer to somewhere around 65-70% so that you can see through it for the next step. And that is the resize. So we're going to go over to our scale tool here, click on the picture, and start sizing it down. And you can kind of see through it there. If I lift it up you'll see the edge of the mirror at the bottom, the top, and on the sides. Okay, once you get it good and scale, uh, the scale toolbox here, click scale. And you'll see that there's a little bit sticking out on the sides, and we're going to take care of that in just a minute. First, though, we need to make a copy of the mirror. So we're going to just unclick the eyeball here. Go click on the background layer and get our scissor select tool. And if you watch my shadows tutorial, you know how to do this. We're just going to trace the silver portion of the mirror. Try to get it um, kind of a good general outline of it. You know, be a bit of a perfectionist on this because we want it to kind of fit exactly back in here when we're done. So give me a minute to get all that. Remember, if you make a mistake, you can drag these around, fix your mistake. Okay, click in the middle to select it when you're done. And we're going to go up to Edit and Copy, Edit and Paste. And you'll see it over here in your Layers Channels, and it says Floating Selection Pasted Layer. Right-click on that, click New Layer, and you'll see a layer that looks like our mirror. Okay, once we get that, bring the eyeball back up on the other one, you'll see the parts that are sticking out on it. And we're going to fix that. Let's go up to our Select by Color tool. With that top layer selected, click on one of the clear parts, one of the corners. Come down to the mirror layer, the second layer. Go to Edit and Clear. You'll still see a little bit that's on the outsides of that box there. Uh, like the elbow and the bottom of the dress here sticking out. We're going to fix that. Go up to Pasted Layer so that you see the box here. Come over to our Rectangle Select tool and let's trace that box staying just inside of the lines. You don't want it to, to match exactly where it changes colors. Just stay just inside of it here. I'm going to do that on all four sides. Okay, and then when you're done, go up to Select, 
invert, make sure you select that hot second layer there, that middle layer, uh, edit and clear, and it took away those. Now select none, and we're going to come up to our pasted layer, the mirror layer, and we're going to set the opacity down on that, whatever you feel is good for you. Uh, whatever your personal taste is for a mirror. I like mine between 30 and 35. And there you have it. Click on the background layer. Um, a nice mirrored reflection. And you can go back and actually um, feather out the edges on each of these layers, the pasted and the mirror layer, and that will um, take care of these um, little sides here where the mirror kind of overlaps that second layer a bit. And that's it. If you have any questions or you want to see anything in particular, just leave me a comment here. Subscribe for more tutorials. I should have another one up by the end of this week as well. And uh, I should start getting some in on the actual, the photo life system itself. And I think I'll start with the Pro Filter because I'm getting a lot of requests for that.